and welcome to Skype. This week we took a trip from here at Sky News HQ to an air show in Brighton to find out how racing with quadcopters, cameras and video goggles is taking off. Here's Angela. This could become part of a new official sports league. FPV racing, a term borrowed from the world of video games, meaning first-person view, sees competitors flying their drones around courses against each other. With the cash prizes getting bigger, more people are now trying to make a full-time career out of it. At the moment, it's just a hobby. Um, I'd love, love to see it go professional, and I think that's the way it's going to go in very, very soon. Maybe even by the end of the year, I would have thought plenty of people can start getting offers from big companies that see this as a... As a as a way of advertising for themselves, but just to w as a way to make the sport better for everybody, more enjoyment, bigger events, more elaborate courses. Um, so yeah, I reckon it's going to go professional very soon. Moving at speeds of up to 80 miles an hour, pilots wear goggles to steer their vehicles based on a live video feed from a camera on the drone's nose. We've got a really fast uh, little machine going around this course at the moment. Also Events put all the action up on big screens to give the audience a clearer view of the fast-moving vehicles, which can be hard to keep track of from the sidelines. The audience can also see everything from the perspective of the drone with a pair of these antenna-equipped goggles. Now, these also let you switch between the different video feeds of the pilots, so you can see everything that they see as they race their quadcopters around the course, and it's supposed to make the whole experience more immersive. Despite its growth in popularity, the sport is yet to attract a mass audience in the UK. Organisers say for that reason, they are still a long way off turning over large wads of cash. In its own right, as an industry sponsoring itself, this is, this is the organic scale that the industry has got, got, got to at the moment. So this event is self-financed. It's entirely funded either from its sponsors or ticket providers. And the sponsors, having spent months chasing them in to help get the cost of this show covered and so on, um, these guys are ready to spend money for this scale of event. They're not, I don't think these guys are ready to, to remortgage their houses yet. The UK may not be hosting events like the World Drone Prix in Dubai, where a 15-year-old from Somerset led a team to victory, winning £174,000. But competitors remain hopeful that if the sport keeps gathering momentum, bigger sponsorship will follow. Angela Barnes, Sky News.